This has been a common sight in Boulder this season. Snow piled high on cars and tabletops. They've had 134.3 inches since the snow season began in October. That's the fifth highest total in 126 years of records. Boulder only needs nine more inches to top the snowiest season they've ever had. And the forecast for the next storm is for six to eight inches. So there's a good chance they'll set that record by the end of the week. Denver, on the other hand, has not even hit their average snowfall for the season yet. The reason for that is that most of the storms this year have had a weather setup called upslope, a term that's well known in Boulder. The weather turns around instead of going west to east, it goes east to west. Matt Cutter knows his weather, but he's not a meteorologist. He's the president of Upslope Brewing Company. He chose that famous weather term to label his company. I thought that that would be a good word to hang our hat on. Here's how Upslope works. When the winds turn and come from the east, they run into the front range foothills and get forced to rise up the slope. When air rises, the water vapor in it cools, condenses, and forms precipitation. The result is heavy and focused snowfall right along the windward side of the foothills, which is right where Boulder sits. The farther away from the foothills, the less benefit there is from the upslope. When that upslope snow melts, it creates the primary ingredient to upslope beer. This is phenomenal water that we have here, you know, right at the base of the mountains. And Cutter says record snow is all right with him. Yeah, let's go for it. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.